Hey guys, Coach Chase here today. And in this video, we'll be going over the four checkpoints every hitter should do when getting in their batting stance. If you want to follow along, feel free to grab your bat, some baseballs to hit, and a tee that you can hit off of. All right, so for the four checkpoints, we're going to start from the ground with our feet and then work our way up the body. Now for checkpoint number one, you want to make sure your feet are lined up in a straight line in the box. And an easy way to tell if you're in a good position is to take your bat, place it on the ground in a straight line, and line up your toes to the bat. What this does is get you in an even balanced position when you get in your stance. As a hitter, you want to make sure your body is lined up with the center of the field in the pitcher, because when that ball comes in, you want to be in a good position to hit it. Checkpoint number two is making sure your knees are slightly bent and you're in an athletic position. We know that all of our power comes from the legs. So by keeping your knees slightly bent, you're engaging the leg muscles and activating more power in your swing. So when you get in your batting stance, make sure to use the legs by bending your knees. This will help keep you in an athletic balanced position and you'll be able to hit the ball with more power. For checkpoint number three, Focus on keeping your hands above your shoulder or in a high, comfortable position. The reason you start with your hands high or above your shoulders is because when you swing, that's going to minimize any barrel drop or barrel drag when you hit the ball. I see a lot of young hitters who start with their hands low, and the first movement they make when they swing is dropping their barrel and their bat dipping out of the zone. So when you hit, Make sure you have a firm grip on the bat and start with your hands high. This will help create a level swing path for your bat and you'll be able to guide the ball into a line drive. And that brings us to the last checkpoint and the most important one, which is keeping your eyes down on the ball as long as possible when you swing the bat. You've probably heard a lot of coaches tell you to keep your eyes down or to watch the ball. But one thing I like to add is that after you swing and make contact with the ball, instead of seeing where the ball goes, keep your eyes down on the blank tee after the swing. What this does is it creates a good habit in the hitter's mind to keep their eyes down on the ball as long as possible and have little head movement when they swing the bat. Now I'll do a couple swings to show you guys what it should look like. An important thing to remember is that you can do three out of the four checkpoints before you even swing the bat. The first three put you in a good position with the feet, knees, and hands. And now when you swing, all you need to focus on is keeping your eyes down on the ball. So if you're just starting out, the four checkpoints of the batting stance will help create good mechanics in your swing and put you in a good position to hit every time you swing the bat. 